What we're going to be going over here is an example on how we calculate a regression line and really this is uh, using the least squares method here. Okay, so when we're talking about a regression line here, this is where we're going to have some data on our graph here and we're going to try to fit a line to that data here. Okay, so what we're going to be working with here on our x-axis, that represents our independent variable here. And then along our y-axis, we have some dependent variable here. So our y value here really depends on whatever value we have for our x here. Okay, so when we're talking about this graph here, we're going to have any number of different data points here on our xy coordinates here. And we're just going to be looking at three of them here to understand how we'd fit this align to this data here. But you'd have any number of different data points and you'd have to go through that procedure. And generally that's done with the computer or calculator or some software program here. But we'll just do it by hand here so you understand what those uh, software programs are doing here. Okay, so when we're talking about this line here, we're going to be, it's just a linear line here. Our data points that we have here, we're going to have one, two and three different data points. We're just going to be represented by a linear or an upward sloping straight line here. So really the line here, when you're talking about a linear line here, you're talking about your y value here equals m. That would be the slope of the line here. That's the change of y over the change of x. That is, you go up so many units in y and you go over so many units in x here. So uh, the line again, y equals m the slope times x, whatever your x value is here plus B. And B really represents the Y intercept here. So when you've got your values, uh, X value is set at zero, uh, you're going to be crossing your Y axis at some point here. Zero X, you're going to have some uh, Y intercept here represented by B. So what we have to de determine here with this uh, uh, regression line fitting here, we have to determine the slope. Uh, it's B here is again the slope of the line here. Uh, that's, or excuse me, that's the Y intercept of the line here. We have to determine that and we have to determine M value here or the slope of the line. Once we do that, then we have our line defined or our data fitted to the line. And what we're looking at here is uh, with this line here, what you're really looking at is you're trying to, and uh, just eyeballing it through our data points here, what you're trying to do is you want to come up with, uh, the, you want to minimize the distance here between whatever line we established here and our actual data points here. That's what we're trying to do here. So we're going to go through just a basic example and there's, uh, you're going to be looking at some regression formula later on, but we want to go through this example so you understand that, what that regression formula is here. So let's start with it. Okay, so the first thing we want to do here, we have to determine the mean values of our different our coordinates here. So this is the key to the problem here. So if you can de uh, follow through these mean values here for your x and y's and x, y's and so forth, you'll be able to fit them into the formula and understand what's going on. Okay, so the first thing, uh, we're gonna well, let's go look at our data points here first. So for our first point here, and these are the actual points here. For our x value, we're going to have one that is on our x-axis here, and the y value is two. So it's going to be a, a x one two here, x y here. And then our next point here is going to be two one. Our x value is two here, and our y value would be one here. And then our third point here, it's going to be an x value here of uh, four, y value of three here. So those are the three points we're working with. Okay, so the first thing we have to do for our means here, our means of the x's, and remember these are averages here, and we'll look at our x coordinate first here. So let's understand what our means of the x's are here. Okay, our first, we start with our first uh, x value here, one, and then we'd add two at our next x value here, two, and then we add two at the next x value here, four. Okay, so just adding those together, what we get seven, and then we have three data points here. We have three different x data points we're looking at. So divided by n are the three different data points here, and your mean of the x's or your average value of the x is going to be seven thirds here. Okay, so the next thing, a mean of the y's. Do the same thing for the y's here. So for the y's, let's understand, we first point was two, then our next point here is one, and then our third point here is three. So that's two plus one plus three. Okay, so add those together here and divide by the number of data points you have here, three. So you're going to come up with what, three, six here divided by three gives us two. So the average value of our y's here is two, or the mean of the y values here. And then the next thing here, uh, this is where we want to keep everything straight. So you understand these different means between the x's and y's. So the next thing, look at the mean of the xy's here. We'll be referring to those in our for formula here. So really we're just taking your x coordinate times your y coordinate. So for your first point here, you have your 
x is 1, y is 2. So 1 times 2. Now, you would add to that your next coordinate here, 2 uh, x times 1 y. So 2 times 1. Then you add to that the next point here, x value of 4, y value of 3. So you get 4 times 3. And then just divide it by n points here again. So what you're going to come up with in the top here is what? 1 plus 2 plus 4 to 3. You're going to have 6, 12 here, 3 and are 2 and 3 here. Well, you're going to come up with 16 here. So you're going to have a, a 16 plus, you have 4 and 4 plus 12 is 16, divided by 3, number of points here. So you get 16 thirds. So that's the mean of the xy's. Understand that here. So the next thing is the mean of the x squareds here. So all you're doing is you're squaring your x's here. So your first x here was 1, square that, add 2 at the next x you have value of 2, square that, and then the next value here is 4, square uh, 4 here, square that. So what you're going to come up with is 1 squared plus 2 squared here is 4, plus 4 squared here is 8. Uh, you're going to come up with uh, what? Tw uh, if 4 squared is 16 here. You're going to come up with 21 here, divided by 3, 3 data points here. That gives you 7. So that's the mean of the x squareds here. So understand, the first thing you do here, just understand your different means here. Your mean of the x's, the mean of x y, uh, x y's, mean of the x y's here, and then the mean of the x squareds here. So that's the key to our problem here. Okay, so now let's go up and let's plug it into our formula here. Okay, so for our regression line formula, we're going to be showing that. We're going to be calculating M, shown here in green here. That's our slope, and B here, shown in red. That's our y-intercept. So this is our general formula that we're looking at here. And I have to note here, if you're referring back to some textbook or something, you may see this formula reversed. That is, whatever I have here on the uh, left-hand side may be sitting on your right-hand side, and what's sitting on your right-hand side may be sitting on your left-hand side, but it really works out the same here because you're different uh, if you're going to come up with some negative amounts here, and they're going to cancel out when you're dividing your formula, or your, your equation here. So M here, we're going to work with M. That's the slope of the line here. And that's represented, and we'll go through, we, this is the key here. So when you see this, and you're working with these, these complicated little formulas here that look like these are, the, this sigma here is the summation sign that's really an addition sign here. So let's go through that formula and relate it back to our uh, means that we just calculated. So first off, we're going to take the mean of the x's here times the mean of the y. So let's go look at that here. Let's go down and let's look at that. So the mean of our x's we had at 7 thirds here times the mean of the y's was 2 if you go back and look at it. So that is our first amount here. Mean of x's times the mean of the y's here. And then from that quantity here, we're going to subtract the mean of the xy's here. We're going to subtract that from here. So that's how, so our mean of the xy's here is what? It was 16 thirds here. So we're going to subtract the 16 thirds uh, uh, from the 7 thirds times 2 here. Okay, so that's the top part of our formula here. So for then we divide it by the bottom part here, and that's going to be the means of x squareds minus the mean of the squared x's. So that's why we want to keep everything straight here. So the mean of our x is squared. Now, the mean of our x's we calculated to be 7 thirds here. But now we've got to square that here. That's squared in our formula here. So we square that quantity. And then we subtract from it the means of the squared x's. And the mean of our squared x's here was 7. So you have to calculate that amount out here. You've got to square that mean of the x squareds here. You're gonna, that mean of the x squared was just the what we said, the means of the excuse me, the means of the x's here. That this 7 thirds here represents the means of the x's. And that we calculated our first average in our calculations, and we, we're going to square it or two times or raise it to the power of two here. Okay, so when we solve for all our, do all our arithmetic here, we're going to come up with thir three sevenths here is going to be the slope of our line. So that's the slope of the line. Just understand, uh, understand all these the mean of the x's, the means of, this is the mean of the x's here, 7 thirds, and this represented here, uh, the mean of the y's here, mean of the x's times mean of the y's here, mean of the y's was 2 here, just understand how that relates to the formula here, and then you subtract it from the, uh, you subtract that quantity here, uh, you would subtract the mean of the xy's here, mean of the xy's was 16 thirds, so we're subtracting 16 thirds from uh, the mean of the x's here, times the mean of the y's, that quantity here. And then we've divided that by 
the mean of the x is in the mean of the x's here squared. So understand that relationship. Here is the mean of the x's squared or raised to the second uh, second power here, and we subtract from it the mean of the squared x's. That's what we calc that was a seven here. That was the mean of the uh, x's squared. That x is squared here. Okay, just to understand that relationship. So you got a complicated formula up here, but by doing our uh, understanding our different mean values that we have here, we are able to stick those numbers into this formula here and come up with the slope of our line. Okay, so that's how you would do that here. Again, this is what the computer or the software packages or your calculator or Excel is doing here. Okay, so then finally, let's get down to our B or Y axis intercept. This is where our it's X is equal to zero, and this is where our y, our, what our y value is when x is equal to zero. So this is the case here where we're going to have the means of the y's here. And all we're going to do is a substitution here. There is a big long formula here, much as the one we had for the slope of the line up above here. But we're just going to make a substitution since we already calculated the slope here, that m value we calculated up here, the slope of the line here, m value. So what you're doing here is you're just taking the mean of the y's here. And then you would subtract from it here. We're going to su subtract from it the quantity here of your uh, slope times the mean of the x's here. So let's go look at our formula down here. Uh, relate this formula to our actual calculations that we made. So for our y-axis intercept, b here, the mean of the y's here, we had, that's the average value for y's. We calculated that to be 2. And then we subtract from it uh, our slope here. That was 7 thirds we calculated up here, our slope here, 7 thirds, times the mean of the x's. So the mean of the x's, remember, those were just the average of our x's. We had the 7 thirds. So our slope here, we calculated 3 sevenths. Do the arithmetic here while well, everything cancels out here. So you're just taking your mean of the y's here to subtract from it that quantity here, slope times the mean of the x's here. That comes into what? 1 here, those all cancel out. One. So you're getting 2 minus 1 is going to give you your y-axis intercept here at 1. Okay, so that's how our general procedure here, and we try to relate those different, our different uh, quantities here, those understand our different mean values for the x's, the y's, the mean of the xy's, the mean of the x squareds, and so forth. We have, we have to, we calculate the, uh, those ahead of time so we could understand putting them into our different formulas here that we have. So again, for the y, just understand this y-axis intercept, that was the mean of the y's here. That's our average value of the y's. Subtract from it uh, the quantity here, the m, the slope here that we calculated, times the mean of the x's. The 7 thirds here was the average for our x values. Okay, so we come up with our y-axis intercept. We had to determine our slope. So for our line here, for our line is represented by y equals m, the slope, times whatever x value we have here, plus b, the y-intercept. So our fitted regression line, based on our calculations, y equals th 3 sevenths here, that was our slope, times whatever x value we have here, plus b, our is equal to 1 here, the y-intercept. Okay, so we went through a basic problem here, and really what we wanted to do is just go and understand how we go calculating that uh, slope of the line here and the y-intercept or the regression line here, and we wanted to substitute it. Uh, understand the different the formula here, how those different averages, uh, the means or the averages fit into those different formulas, because you're going to see these different formulas in books here or in textbooks, and you might under might guess well what are they really saying here, so. We went through it with some simple arithmetic here, and we actually fitted a line, or in this case it was a linear regression line, to, in this case it was three points. But you would go through that here, and your computer, your software, your calculator, whatever functions you're using here for calculating the slope of the line and the y-intercept and so forth, it would go through it to, for whatever numbers you're, you'd have to look at. If you had 30 data points in here, you'd be doing your summations here from 1 to n, which would be 30, and so forth. Yeah. Okay, so that'll summarize our discussion here on calculating this regression line.